All right, guys, let me do a quick tour of San Diego State University. It's about seven o'clock on a June, like mid, middle of June. All right, so I don't have much, so, so not much sunlight left, so I'm gonna get started. This is the chemical engineering building here, just right at the edge of campus, the, the south uh, eastern part of the campus. Or excuse me, the northeastern part. All right, let's get, let's go. It's a bit hilly, so I may stop a time or two here and there, and it may end up being like a nighttime biking tour. So this is all the back side of the campus. The the north part of it and it's like a maintenance building off to the right you guys can't see it a little parking lot there Right up the hill there, that's Charles Hostler Hall. And get back to it. And off to the right, it's a sports field there. Got some soccer players. A soccer players game. I'm gonna swing back around, let you check out the field. See the guys playing. Let's check it out. Off to the left, it's obviously a parking garage. Looks like it's two different uh, games going. All right, let's get back to it. I'm not gonna go off to the left because I believe that kind of just, um, it, the route really just would discontinue because it would stop off at a parking garage, right? No point in doing that. Off to the left there, some kind of a, a energy supply source for the campus. Oh, they call it the chiller plant. And then we're coming up on VA House Arena, right there, and then there's the Ark, 
the Ark, man. I had a membership there for over uh, over 10 years. So the weights up there. It's a great place. That is Waxyakak East. I have no idea what that place is. About to hop back on the bike. Directly ahead, Tony Gwynn Stadium. Off to the left, the Ark. Aztec Recreation Center. Down the hill a minute ago was the the passport office. It's a small building, nothing too interesting architecturally speaking, so no need to really go and uh, show it. It's a huge complex now after the renovation. They did the renovation starting in 2019, guys. All right. That's when they began it. Actually, I'm gonna go through there, let you get a closer look. Because it's such a great facility. Let me see how I can get the bike down here. Hold up. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. It's got a slant rip to it. So they have a Shake Smart in the front. They did not have that before. the entrance right there live in concert Steve Stevie Nicks I don't know who that is yeah storms off to the right there we'll go check that out in a minute let's go to the left first I'm sure people think I'm crazy talking to myself I see off to the left here they have cardio equipment I'm gonna swing around so you can see. Hopefully you can see through the, uh, the glass. So, it's all kind of uh, Smith machine steer, power racks. They're more like kind of, um, Body weight movement there, dip station, crunches, and then it goes on to the cardio equipment. Well, let's go before it gets too dark. I think I'm gonna cross this. Guys, I'm just winging it here. I didn't even plan this out too well. Hopefully, it's kind of concise and makes some sense. Let's go across, because I know there's a bridge on the other side. <clears throat> yeah, what you Oh no, don't tell me. Let's see if let's see if they block the bridge. No. I don't think so. Perfect. And then off to the left down there, there's, I believe that's the ROTC area. This campus has, I believe, Army. Let's go down the hill, and then I'll, I'll swoop back and make a lift. Guys, they've been having construction on this campus since Oh man, 2000 and, oh wow, 2008 or 9? It's 2023 right now, so every time they get money with the bonds, with the state, the, the university is able to get more stuff done. They can go in and rehab areas, put them in new buildings. 
Let's go across. <clears throat> So this area here, it's like international um, uh, students area through here at the end, local PBS affiliate, KPBS, directly to the left there, it's a health, health services area. And I'm going to go down and then make a left, actually I'm going to go down and make a U-turn on the other street and there's all uh, off-campus housing for the students This is the, a lot of Greek housing on this street here, fraternities, and then I believe those are condos on the left side, directly to the left. Shops to the right, sushi, tea shop. We got the KPBS affiliate up on the coming up on the left side in a minute. They call it Gateway Center. You can see it now. It's KPBS and Gateway Center. And then we'll go more toward the main heart of the campus. You'll see some older architecture. We'll go by the bookstore in a minute here. That's pretty impressive. I mean, not impressive compared to, okay, let me put it in perspective, guys. It's impressive for what the college is, right? It's not University of California, you know, Los Angeles, something like that. So but let's keep it real. There's some, um, We have Adams Humanities up off on the right side. Here's the Cal Coast Credit Union. That's an amphitheater. We'll go by and check that out. We won't be able to see much. I got the locks on right here.
we'll go by the bookstore next because I would say that's probably more like the dead center of the campus all right There's another lecture hall across the way there. I believe they're just going to reserve that for, for the theater department. And then some kind of construction going on in that building. I missed the name of it. Oh, actually, that's the drama building here. And then we'll see the library in a minute here. We're coming up on, what is this? This is the, let me find a name here. Oh, Hepner Hall. Let's go through it. I don't see nothing saying we can't. This is now the communication building. It's about 7.30 at night, so don't have too much sunlight left. <clears throat> Let's go down that way. I'm not sure where it leads to. Oh, I'm gonna hook her right here. That's the Arts and Letters building. This is Professional Studies and Fine Arts. Here is the Hardy Memorial Tower. I think every, every half hour the bells go off. Bernstein Theater. Oh, no way I'm going to ride on those steps like some kind of evil can evil. Okay. Next, we're going to go to the library. <clears throat> There's not too much left of this, to be honest. Here's the dome. The dome of the library. Then what you do is you go and go downstairs and then you hook. It's kind of expansive to a, in, a, in a way, right? But then, but then you want to go underground and then let me circle here. This is the bigger area of it. <clears throat> Okay, as we see there are four different levels, or it should be five levels. So the basement, first floor, and then the three floors above it. Let's 
Let's keep going around. And then there's the bookstore. We'll go right there in a minute. <clears throat> okay, bookstore is right ahead there. We'll go and see the, um, I forgot what that area is called, but they renovated it maybe 2009. Probably about 12 years back, they, they renovated it. It'll show the name once we get up there. Hang tight. This building here, this is for, it's when you're coming in, they have the counselors here, Student Services West. And then off to the right of me next is Manchester Hall. Okay, yeah, they renamed it. I'm glad I didn't see a name. Now they're going at the Conrad Previs Aztec Student Union. That's what that building is. It's got the Starbucks in there and Chipotle. Oh, there's a Habit Burger Burger place there. Not too much left to see. We're gonna circle back because there's like a little pond. Now we'll see Manchester Hall next. That's just off to the right there. That's an older building. And then over there is where you can get the San Diego trolley. You go down couple flights of steps and then actually no I'm gonna go this way and then there's also buses over there that you can uh, you can go to here this area okay there's student housing off to the right side there's a uh, a bridge, a bridge off to the right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over the bridge here in a minute. No, I cancel that. There's a bunch of cops here. Guys, that's pretty much all for the campus at this point. So, whatever's left of my battery now, I'm gonna start going over toward uh, City of La Mesa and we'll check that area out. I don't know how much is on, is left of my battery. Hang on, I'm gonna stop here in a minute and check. Off to the right there, it's a complex, there's a Trader Joe's and a couple of different little eateries there. All right, I'm gonna kill the video now. I'm gonna do a separate tour for the city of La Mixa, all right? So please subscribe, hit the like button, share, comment, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.